The price of gold and silver have skyrocketed. Congratulations, your ship has come in. You've been waiting for this. You knew the price of silver could go to $100, $200, even $600. And now it's actually happened. Gold trading at $7,000 per ounce. But I have a very important question for you. Maybe you're watching this video in the year 2027, 2028. My big important question for you is, are you prepared? Were you prepared? Because the reality is we're recording this. We're talking right now in the basement in mid-2024. But it's so important that you prepare yourself for this prospect. And look, guys. Part of preparing yourself for the prospect of skyrocketing silver and gold prices is also being real. There's a chance, I don't believe it to be true myself, I don't know how you feel, but there is a chance that the price of gold and silver never will absolutely skyrocket. But if and when it does, are you prepared? That's what we're going to talk about today in this video because it is of paramount importance that you are prepared. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Massivo. They're a Canadian junior gold and silver exploration company. They have projects in Mexico and Nevada in the U.S. Their stock symbol is GNYPF and in Toronto, MASS. Gold prices hitting all-time highs and many people projecting for the price of gold to even go higher. But one thing that hasn't happened yet, this move up in the gold price has not translated into much higher prices in the gold mining sector. And in particular, the junior portion of the gold and silver exploration segment. Trading at just 12 cents per share with a tight share structure, Masivo Silver and Gold Corp presents an enticing investment at around a $5 million market cap. The high potential upside at this valuation really is hard to ignore. And when we look at the shareholder roster, we're seeing people like Eric Sprott, who have invested in this company. While the company holds some very exciting prospective properties in Mexico, what's really exciting is what's going on in Nevada. They have properties in Elko County home of other very successful mining operations like Jarrett Canyon, the Robinson Mine, and Bingham Canyon Mines. The company is currently drilling their Boston Mine project. They've actually extended drilling three times due to visible mineralization. The results have been submitted to the labs and are expected by this summer. This could be a huge catalyst for the company. Masivo President and CEO David Coburn recently said that hole number two has shown very positive results. Now, remember, this is based on visual inspection of the drill core coming out of the ground. We're still waiting to hear what the lab has to say about specific amounts of metal contained in the drill sample. But the fact that they've extended drilling three times could lead us to believe that there may be some very good news coming out on this company in the near future. This Boston mine project in Elko County in Nevada, we also need to remember that it was a past producing mine with a high grade history. It basically got shut down at the onset of World War II. And that after that, there was very limited activity. It was held in private hands. This is the first time that it's being explored with modern mining technology. As a matter of fact, in 1917, there was a report written by W.H. Seagrave and Company for J.P. Morgan and Daniel Guggenheim that confirmed there were high-grade amounts of copper, silver, and gold located in this ground. Again, that was over 100 years ago. It's now being explored with modern mining technology. It'll be interesting to see how this story plays out. It's one that I'll be keeping a very close eye on. If you're interested in learning more about the company, I'll put a link to their website in the description below. 
do your own due diligence. But if you want to get exposure to the junior exploration sector, this might be one for you to watch. Thank you to Masivo for sponsoring this video. It's fun to sit around and dream about the price of silver and gold skyrocketing. We'll all be rich, right? Yes, to a certain degree, we'll be richer than we already are right now because we're pretty darn rich right now, us spending this time together. And I want to say thank you to you right now for joining me here in the basement. It's a big honor to me that you give your time. I hope you feel like you found a little home away from home. Please give this a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel. It's free. But back to this skyrocketing silver and gold. Number one. I want to warn you, even though we think and dream about how great it will be, it will also be a stressful time. Number one, you'll be forced to potentially make some big, major decisions. All of that, while we could have some major chaos, you think things are crazy now, guys, if we get $600 silver, $7,000 gold, things will likely be even crazier in the outside world. So not just the financial stress of being forced to make a decision, but we'll be bombarded by news stories and events around us that could be very, very disturbing, okay? So you want to be mentally prepared for that, number one. Number two, you want to be monetarily money prepared for things that happen, okay? Make sure you have enough physical metals. Make sure maybe you even, even have a little cash on hand. Also. Make sure that you have strong relationships. There's a lot of different ways to get prepared. And I'm not a prepper, but you know, you want to have good relationships with your neighbors, your friends, your family. You want to make sure you have some type of a source of food and water just in case things get really crazy. But from a precious metals perspective, what you really need to be prepared for is what will you do? Because again, while it's fun to dream, I'm telling you, if you get a $600 per ounce silver price and you're sitting on a big stack of silver, which I imagine you may be, never compare the, uh, the size of your stack to anyone else's. But nonetheless, you're going to need to make some decisions. Those decisions could range from an extreme, which I think mistake, of selling it all, converting it all into paper unicorn fart dust. I don't know why anybody would do that, even if it is $600 per ounce, all the way on the other extreme to doing nothing, to figuring, hey, I bought this silver, I bought this gold as a generational investment. Why would I want to get rid of any of it now, regardless of what the current price may be? But in the middle, there's a whole range of other options you can consider as well. Maybe you convert half of it into other real assets. And that's the big key. If you're going to convert, in my opinion, any of your precious metals into anything when this event potentially does happen, maybe you buy some real estate, a rental house. Maybe you use part of it to buy some land, some farmland. Maybe even you consider buying a stock in a company that owns a lot of real assets and doesn't have a big debt encumbrance. But you need to have a plan, maybe some prices in mind. But I'll caution you about that because depending on what happens, guys, we could see silver and gold prices like we can't even imagine if like the worst of the worst case scenario were to unfold. Because we know the history all fiat, all paper money always goes to zero. It's happened hundreds, maybe even a thousand times throughout history. There's no other end result for a paper fiat currency but to eventually go to zero. Just talk to somebody in Zimbabwe or Argentina or even Venezuela. Hyperinflations do happen, and the U.S. dollar is subject to the same exact laws of mathematics as any other paper unicorn fart dust make-believe funny money system that's ever been created. The last piece of advice I'll give you is whatever you do decide to do, and I hope after hearing this, you do decide to put together some type of plan regarding what you will do when 
the price of silver and gold skyrocket. But what I will caution against is doing everything at once, doing an all or nothing transaction. Hey, that could work out to your benefit, but it could also work out to your detriment. Just as we talk about dollar cost averaging into the metals, if you're buying, maybe buy once a month, once every three months, once every six months, whatever works for you. I might recommend that you also consider that type of approach if you get to a point when things do get crazy in the silver and gold market, that you also scale out of your investment, convert out of it um, in a dollar cost average way as well. Hey, thank you for joining me here in the basement. It's always a big, big honor when you're here. I hope you have a great day. I hope you come back because I'll be waiting for you. I'll see you soon.